Hello and welcome back to another PvP review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Reveal the Shield Voyager class Lugnut. Now those of you who are quite unfamiliar with who Lugnut is, he did originally appear back in Transformers Animated and this figure is brought to you from the Reveal the Shield line. I essentially think that this line was there to bring some of the more unpopular Transformers characters and give them a more updated and realistic look. And as you can see, I definitely think that the execution of this figure is, it has been done extremely well. It definitely does have both an animated and movie appearance, which definitely appeals to me as I do love the movie aesthetics. Coming in, we can see the cockpit of the plane mode. We've got the jet turbines. We've got the paint applications that we see on the nose of the jet. We've got some guns at the front. He's got a very cool Cyclops eye, much like Shockwave some purple in the torso area, some purple throughout the legs. The shins and the feet are essentially green, however they are different shades just to break up the colouring. The hands are all different kinds of shades of green. We've got a very nice head sculpt with some translucent red plastic. We've always been done all throughout the cockpit on the eyes. Turning to articulation, like now he has a ball jointed head so he can look up down side to side and can swivel. He also has jaw articulation, which is quite unheard of on most voyages nowadays. The arms are on ratchet joints so they can hinge outwards, they can hinge inwards, and there is a second hinge. So in effect, he does have double jointed elbows, which is very nice. However, you cannot move the arms backwards due to transformation. The fingers are individually articulated. The thumb is on a hinge. The two fingers at the top are on one hinge and then a separate hinge to articulate them individually. There is a waist joint on this figure which is very nice to see. The legs can kick forwards on nice ratchets and backwards. They can hinge outwards quite far and there is a swivel at the thigh. There is an over 90 degree bend at the knee so he does in effect have a double jointed knee joint. The foot is on a ball joint, so you can hinge it around, pivot it back and forth to get some really dynamic poses. So overall, articulation on this guy is amazing. Turning to some features of this figure, he does have spring-loaded hand action. So by pushing this button here, you do get a slight spring-loaded gimmick. Not too sure what it is, as it doesn't really affect the figure too much. Another feature is that if you push your thumb on this symbol and hold it there, Scepticon symbol appear. It does fade quite quickly due to the heat. However, that is a very, very nice feature. The last feature on this guy is that he does actually have a spring-loaded missile. However, I have unfortunately lost the missile, but in order to activate this, you essentially had to pull this section back, rotate this, pull this back, fold out his cannon and flip it forwards. And that was his turret, quite stupid looking. However, it was a feature if you wanted it to be. For some size comparisons, here is Lugnut next to Voyager Class Nitro and Voyager Class Shockwave. As you can see, the one similarity that they all have is that they are all Cyclops bots. If you look at Nitro, you can definitely see some resemblance to Lugnut, the turbines at the top, the Cyclops eye. And in the movie and in Transformers Animated, they do have very, very similar personalities. So essentially, I do believe that Nitro is just the movie version of Lugnut. Here we have Lugnut in his very cool Decepticon plane mode. As you can see, this does definitely resemble an Earth-based mode. To me, it does look like a World War II bomber. It's a very big and hefty Voyager class figure with a very wide wingspan. Got some very nice details along the cockpit. Got some hazardous symbols on the turbines on the top you can see that it does say lug nuts so that's very cool how that they've managed to do that in numbers and letters on the back it's very basic as you can see we've got the missile cap which has been very nicely disguised as a set of turrets on the fin we have the same symbols that we have across lug nut he does have a set of four rolling wheels, so he will roll on a flat surface fairly nicely. Guns at the front are also articulated, so you can hinge those around in whatever way you so choose. And if you do wish to increase the wingspan, you can simply push that purple button that we saw in robot mode, and you can extend the wingspan. However, you do start to get some breaks 
in the wings. Lugnut is a very nice Voyager class figure. Definitely the standard of Voyagers back in 2010. Great articulation, great paint applications and great robot mode and alternative mode. The only downside with this figure is that I do wish he came with some kind of accessory. In Transformers Animated, I do know that he did wield a hammer, so it would be cool if he could have included that. However, what we get here is definitely satisfying enough. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more.